In this video series, I'm going to show you how you can set up a blog network using WordPress's multi-site functionality. Okay, so in this video, we're just going to go over the install and the initial setup to get your blog network going. Okay, so you can install it using the install files at wordpress.org. You just download WordPress here and you'll see it down here. Download WordPress 3.51 is the current version. And I made a separate video that shows you how to install WordPress from the files. However, I'm just going to use Fantastico Deluxe to install my, my WordPress blog here. So if you have cPanel hosting, you probably have something called Fantastico Deluxe, as you see down here. So just click on that. And then you want to go to WordPress. And then you want to go to New Installation. Okay, in here you have a drop down to select the domain you're going to install it on. If you only have one domain, then that makes it easy. And here is what directory you're going to install it in. If you don't put anything in here, it just installs it in the root directory. So when you type in this domain name, then it's going to just install it there. I'm going to install it in a directory here. So let's call it Arby's. Okay. So it's going to install in this domain slash this folder name, and that's where the blog is going to be. Your admin, username, and a password here. Do not use admin as a username. That's a big security hole in WordPress, so use something else here. And then put a fairly secure password in here. Okay, and here you can put the admin nickname if you want a nickname. Otherwise, you can just leave it blank. You need to put in an admin email address in here. This is the blog address where anything will go out from this email address. And it will also send you your sign-in information to this email address. And you can change this in WordPress afterwards. Okay, now your site name. Put it in here and you can also change that in WordPress. And then description, you can put a description in here, or you can change it within the WordPress install once we get there. Okay, now we click install. Finish install. Okay, so it's there for us now. So if we click here, this is our admin panel. Okay, so we need to put in our username and password here. Okay, let's log in here. Okay, so we have our fresh install up here. So let's just dismiss this. Okay, so what we need to do is to set up our blog network now, or to at least get the configuration part done. Okay, so one other thing before we get there, I want to show you, since we install this with Fantastico, we want to erase the footprint. So to do that, what you want to do is either go into your cPanel into your file manager, or you can open up something like FileZilla. Okay, so here's FileZilla. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach to my server. Okay, so to connect, I put under host my domain name and username and password to my hosting account. There's also a site manager and you can save your entries in there and connect. Okay, so I connected to my server and on this side I'm in the RVs directory. Now what you want to do is come in here and you see this one that says fantastico.php? Delete this. Okay, and then delete this readme.html. Okay, now make sure that from now on you only update from within your WordPress blog. Do not come back to Fantastico and update from here. Okay, You need to forget all about these entries in here now because you've just gotten rid of the Fantastico information. Okay, so let me just save this password here. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to update to the latest version. And I'm just going to do update now. Now if you haven't signed into your server before from within WordPress, it's going to come up and ask you for that information. It'll just ask you for the username and password and the domain and so on. But they have already done that, so I don't need to bother. Okay, so now I'm up to date with my WordPress blog. Okay, so now that we have the install done, what we're going to do next is set up the network part. Okay, now we need to get our multi-site options in here. Now to do that we need to go to wp.config.php. Now you can do this from an FTP client like FileZilla or you can use your cPanel file manager or whatever file manager you're using on your server. So if you're going to use FileZilla all you have to do is go to wp dash config dot php right here and then you can do view and edit and it brings up a little window like this and you can edit it in here okay but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you through the file manager now so I'm going to go over to my cPanel and then to my file manager okay so here's my file manager I go in here okay and then I need to drill down to where my blog is so let's go here we are so I go in here and then I'm going to go to wp-config.php which is this one and then I'm going to go up to the top here where it says edit and I'm going to click on that okay so what we want to do here is we want to add a line of code okay so you see near the bottom it says that's all stop editing right above that you want to put in a line of code. Okay, and this is the line of code here, and I've included that in the resources document. Okay, so you need to add that in there, and then we're going to update the file. So up here to the right, it says save changes. We'll click on that. And then we can close this window. We're done with our file editor. We're done with this file for now, anyway. Okay, so what we're going to do now. We're coming back to our blog and we're going to log out and then we're going to log back in. Now if we go down to tools, you'll see here, see here network setup. Now, I should have showed you before but that wasn't there until we put that line of code in there. Okay so now we're ready to start with our blog network. Okay, now there's an important note here. It says, please make sure the Apache Mod Rewrite module is installed because it's going to use at the end of the installation and a check with your administrator to enable the module or look at the Apache documentation for help setting it up. Okay, so if you're on uh, shared hosting, you may or may not have this enabled. If you're on HostGator hosting, it's already enabled for you. So you're going to need to check that and if you set up WordPress blogs in the past and you can go into settings and then you'll see here that there's permalinks if you've been able to set up permalinks before then mod rewrite is on okay so if this isn't your very first blog install with WordPress and you've done that before then you know mod rewrite is on okay now there are two different types of installs. There's a subdirectory install and a subdomain install. Now I installed my blog inside a subdirectory so I cannot install WordPress into a subdomain. A subdomain is when you have the pre a prefix like RV or myrv dot your, your domain name dot com and a subfolder is mydomainname.com slash directory name RVs or whatever it is so that's the difference and also subdomains are actually propagated across the net whereas subfolders are not they're just part of your of your server 
Okay, so I'm gonna I, uh, I'm using a subdirectory install, and then here server address. Okay, and then what would you like to call your network? It's just taking the same information from what we set up before, and you can change it here if you want. And a main email address. Okay, so let's click install here. Okay, now it wants us to add the following to your wp-config.php file where we just were above where it says stop editing here. Okay, so that's where we were before. So just grab this, what's in this box here, copy. We're going to go back to our file manager and we're going to go back into the editor here. And then down where it says, that's it. That's all. Stop editing here. Right above that, we're going to paste this code in here, as it said. And then we're going to save the changes. Okay, back to create a network. Add the following to your .htaccess file in the same directory. Okay, replacing other WordPress rules. So we're going to grab everything in here, copy, okay let's go back, I can close this one. Now we need to go to the .htaccess file. Let's, um, Okay, so what I did was I went up one level because I didn't see one there, and then I came back in. Okay, so up one level, then I came back to RVS, which was this directory, and there's my .htaccess file. Now, if there isn't a .htaccess file, you can create one using the new file up here and just call it .htaccess. Okay, so we're going to go in here and we're going to edit this one. Now, what we want to do is where it, where it starts with this rewrite here. So we want to leave if module mod rewrite dot c. So we're going to take these things out. Okay, so we're leaving the if module and the slash if module there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to paste our code that we picked up from our site in here. And we're going to save. Okay, and then once you complete these steps, your network is enabled and configured. You have to log in again. Okay, so we're going to make sure we log out here. And now we're going to log back in. Now, look in your dashboard. You see here my sites. And this is where you can start setting up your sites. Okay, so at this point, we have the multi-site part all set up. Okay, in the next video, we're going to start setting up our sites.